The cream has risen to the top. One and 30 are magic numbers for the Lady Vowels. Kentucky, it's got the top cat in the conference to count on. Georgia and Vandy are streaking into the postseason while looking for a little more magic in March. Welcome to SEC in the Paint, the NCAA Tournament Preview Edition. Tennessee is making its 30th trip to the Ladies' Big Dance, also its 30th trip to the NCAA Tournament. That's right, they have played in every single NCAA postseason. They carry a 31-2 record into the tourney and will play Stetson in their first game Saturday just after 11 a.m. They're also playing at home at Thompson Bowling Arena for the first two rounds. 24 wins this season has earned Kentucky a ticket to this year's dance. The second straight year in the tournament, the first time since 1982-83 that the Wildcats have appeared in the postseason in back-to-back -back seasons. They are the fourth seed in the Spokane region and will travel to Albuquerque, New Mexico for their first round game. They play Hampton at 4 p.m. on Saturday the 19th. Andy Landers is leading Georgia to its 28th NCAA tourney, second all-time to Tennessee. After 21 wins this past season, the Lady Bulldogs will be making their 17th straight appearance in the Madness. They are the sixth seed in the Dallas region, but their fans will only have to take about a three-hour trip west to Auburn for the first round game versus Middle Tennessee State. It's a Sunday game with a tip-off just after 7.30 p.m. Vanderbilt won 20 games in the regular season, and it has translated into its 12th straight trip to the postseason, 24th overall. In each of the past 11 years, the Commodores have won at least one game. They are seated 10th in the Spokane region, but will head north to Cincinnati for their first round game. The second straight year they have opened in Cincinnati. The Doors will tip it off just past noon with 7th seated Louisville in the opener. Stay connected. We've got you covered for all the postseason action. There's only one place to get it, right here on the SEC Digital Network.